Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, video tutorial for Photoshop. I'm using CS5, but this technique will, you, uh, will work on uh, previous versions. Okay, the image I've got was found on morgfile.com. I will post the link in the description. Uh, the username who done this uh, this uh, photo was in a Tashko, um, and the image is a free to use image, so you can use this image for um, court corporal work or anything like that. It's a free to use image, you can use it for anything. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to show you a few techniques using this image. If you zoom in, you can see that it's quite blurred, and I've done this purposely because here's the original, very crisp and clear, and here's just say that you got a crap camera or you moved and jogged the camera and say this is the image that you took so you're not happy with that. It's, it, it, I've blurred this up purposely but um, say this is your image that you've taken um, yeah it looks quite poor and you want to get some quality back into the image you want to sharpen it up and sharpen the pixels so what you can do is a few um, a few modes just to bring this back and this is what I use to bring quality or sharpen up an image okay let's duplicate the blurred layer so the first things first is one of my favorite um, filters which is high pass I have used it in previous uh, videos um, I'm going to use a radius of 4.3 you can change it accordingly to your image um, usually around 3.5 to 5 radius somewhere in between is usually quite good but it all depends on your image of course okay so we've got this and some people will just use this as it is um, but I, I like to do a few other little changes to it so let's go to image adjustments and let's go down to curves or control M okay let's click a dot here and at the top there so we have two new dots what we do is basically drag it completely down and then move it across a little to around there and then let's move this and what we're doing with this one we want to match the color that we had off the um, the high pass originally something like that you have to change these accordingly to your image because you might have a dark image but if you put those two dots and move it try to match what the color or the core color that you got from your high pass then click OK then go into it again image adjustments and now let's go on to brightness and contrast let's change the contrast quite up as you can see it's made it a little bit darker so what we need to do is to bring it up and lighten it a little something like that 45 and 9 click OK and there we go We've, we're pretty much done as you can see it's quite a um, it's quite different from the original high pass that we got um, it's going to be quite crisp so what I would do is I usually go on to the blender modes change it to a hard light and there we go you can obviously bring these uh, sliders down to whatever you think is right but as you can see look, you're getting some quality back in the nose that you didn't have the eyes look a more popped out and the hair has improved greatly you were never gonna get let's say the quality of the original image you were never gonna get that quality but if your base is this bad you need to do something about it and this is the best method to get any quality back into your image as you can see you're getting some skin texture there um, you can obviously make this lighter or darker just go into the um, brightness and contrast again and just change the slider accordingly so there we go we're pretty much done as you can see from the original the blurred one it's a little bit darker so we can automatically change that quickly just bring it up a little to about 12 and there we go we're pretty much there and we've got some quality back into this image that pretty much disappeared if you notice the hair um, especially and the skin texture as you can see the hair you can actually the, the definition on the hair is now there so it's a very quick way of getting some quality back into your image and to just generally sharpen the image if you have 
um, a poor image to start off with. More tutorials coming soon. Peace.